Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Bhumika and I hope you all are doing absolutely great. So today I'm finally back with a sit down video. Uh, before this, I posted like five to six travel vlogs because I was traveling to some or the other place in Georgia and uh, that is the reason I got this idea that I have been staying in Kutaisi for the past four years. So I thought let's like combine all the places that you can visit in and around Kutaisi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing 13 things to do in and around Kutaisi if you're visiting here. So if you're someone interested, then please keep on watching. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please go hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So as I already mentioned, I'm going to be sharing with you all 13 different places that you can visit in and around Kutaisi. So starting off with the very first one, that is the city center. So the center of the city has a tourist attraction, which is known as the Colchis Fountain. And this fountain is very beautiful. Like I'll add the picture of all the places that I am showing to you all so that you can get a reference. So starting off with the Colchis fountain, it has 30 enlarged copies of Colchis jewelry. I don't know exact like in detail about it, but this is made up on blue mosaic pedestals and obviously like it is fountain. So there is water spouting around, but that is the first tourist location in So Kutais. now moving on to the second tourist location and this is considered as White Bridge. White Bridge stands out to be one of the most happening places in Kutaisi. So this is a beautiful glass plus iron bridge and the view from this bridge is spectacular like there are white pedestrian stones on the river Rioni on which the white bridge is present and uh, it is like not very touristy but it does give a nice view and it is worth seeing so that was the second so place. now moving on to the third location that is considered as the aerial tramway now this is a two minute ride and it takes you to a mini amusement park so if you're someone who loves adventure then you can definitely visit this place it just like it takes two minutes for you to reach there and the cable car is above the river Rioni. So you get a spectacular view of the city Kutaisi. And that is the only reason why most of the people visit this place. So you can also visit. Moving on to the next location and that is the Bagrati Cathedral. Bagrati Cathedral is considered as one of the most ancient Georgian architectural monument that is present in Kutaisi. As this location is present on the hill, it is perfectly visible from any corner of the city like the main central part of the city and uh, Bagrati Cathedral can be visited at any time. It like it never shuts down uh, due to its Georgian and architectural history. It is considered as the symbol of unity in Georgia and I would highly recommend you to go to this place because uh, picture wise also it is very beautiful and in general the cathedral is amazing. Uh, I have like just once gone inside the cathedral but outside there is like a huge lawn and you can sit and enjoy the view of the city with having a cup of coffee in your hand or something like that and uh, this is the next. The next location is the historical museum. This is a small and pretty place. Uh, it has pretty interesting things and collection about the Georgian history. So uh, this place has everything displayed plus the descriptions are written in Georgian as well as in English. So it is pretty much easy. You don't need a guide to explore this place. It is a small place and it will just take like 15-20 minutes from your entire schedule. Plus, uh, this place is located very close to the college's fountain, like it is just a minute walk. And uh, one more thing about this place is it costs uh, two or four gel. The entry ticket is this much. And if you're someone who loves knowing the history in general, then this place is for you. Next location is not exactly a touristy location, but this is my personal suggestion and that is visiting the parliament building of Kutaisi. Now the architecture of this building is something that attracted my attention towards it. And that is the only reason I am suggesting you to go to this place because the architecture is actually very good and I don't think there is any other building which resembles something like this or which gives you this wow kind of feeling so please visit this parliament obviously you cannot enter inside but you can at least see it from outside and uh, click some pictures and that's so until it. now i shared with you all all the places that were present in kutaisi now moving on to the places that are pleasant around kutaisi so the first one is sataplia the sataplia nature reserve is named after the mountain sataplia which means the place of honey also, uh, this place is located six kilometers away from Kutaisi and here you can find dinosaur footprints and uh, there is a complex cave which is very beautiful. I have been to this place and that is the reason I'm suggesting. 
plus this place has a museum and there is a glass walk away which gives you a stunning view of the kutaisi city on the one side and the mountains and the nature on the, the other the next location is the prometheus caves this caves are located 22 kilometers away from the kutaisi city and uh, this caves are famous because they are the largest caves that are present in georgia the exact size is not known even i tried finding it on google but i have no idea i have been to this place and i would suggest that you should wear hiking shoes because uh it is like a uh, kind of slippery because there is water inside the caves and uh, it is a hike so wearing comfortable shoes and comfortable outfits would be my recommendation also the timings and the prices and everything will be mentioned on the screen so that it will help you if you're visiting the next this. location is my personal favorite and that is mathveli canyon this place is located 50 kilometers away from kutaisi which is like an hour ride but i would definitely recommend you to go to this place now the crystal clear water of the canyon is surrounded by green mountains and like the entire scenery of this place is something which is stunning also the main attraction for this place is because this place has boating now there are like uh, guides available who take you through this route i guess it's a 300 meter long uh, journey the boating is 300 meters and uh, they provide you life jackets and they tell you about this place and uh, in general this is a picturesque place this is a touristy place and that is the reason i would definitely recommend you to go to so now moving on to the next two locations that are present in kutaisi and that is gelatis and motsameta monastery now both of them are old churches that are present in georgia talking about gelatis monastery it is an unesco world heritage recognized place and uh, both of them are present in like dense forest uh, they are at different places but if you are visiting gelatis then do visit motsameta as well now coming to the second last place and that is kaltubo city now skaltubo city is located 10 kilometers away from kutaisi this was considered as the second largest city in georgia but uh, due to the wars and the history this place is considered as abandoned city and uh, usually uh, this place is now famous for its mineral natural sulfur water bath now there are different resorts who provide this service and as per my knowledge sulfur water baths are good for like your skin and for gynecological problems neurological problems musculoskeletal problems so people visit this place for that reason and if you're someone who want to experience mineral natural water bath then you can visit Coming to the last location and the last one is the okadze canyon now this is a natural monument that is present in georgia it is 50 kilometers away from kutaisi and it is located in a village named as gordi now this is an approximate 2 kilometer canyon and there is a valley on the other side and there is a small pathway that takes you through this canyon in between there come several waterfalls and uh, in general it is a scenic place so if you are someone who loves nature then you can also visit okadze canyon so those were all the places that i think you should visit if you're traveling to kutaisi or around kutaisi i hope you find this video helpful if you did then don't forget to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i'll see you guys in my next video till then bye